everyone, and welcome to Pilates Fit Friday, where we discuss Pilates content each week. I'm Daviana, and today we're gonna go over one of the pieces of equipment, probably one of the more popular pieces of equipment in Pilates, and that is the Reformer. Now the Reformer is a great piece of equipment. Uh, it's very adaptable, very versatile. We're able to create a lot more variations for the individual. It also provides support for key areas or key exercises that you otherwise might not be able to accomplish. Not only this, but it's one of the best pieces of equipment in terms of getting a full body workout, whether you're a beginner just starting out with Pilates, or if you're pretty advanced and have been doing Pilates for a while. There's definitely exercises that can be challenging to all fitness levels here. So let's go ahead and take, take a look at the reformer and get an idea of how it works and all the different parts involved. So before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know, ignore these long poles. Typically reformers do not have them. And if they do, they're usually at one end of the machine or typically that end of the machine. Uh, here at the clinic, we have a convertible Cadillac. So this reformer actually converts into a trapeze table for space saving purposes. But uh, we do another video on the trapeze table, so definitely check that out. For today, we're just gonna talk about the reformer. So the sliding carriage here. One of the bigger and more noticeable things about the reformer is the sliding carriage. It's a flat, pretty much a flat bed that also supports shoulders and then the head. We're able to crank this up. And it also helps, you know, clients feel comfortable as they're, as they're working out. Um, the carriage connects to hooks at uh, this end of the reformer and uh, they're connected by springs and the springs vary in resistance um, and difficulty and depending on the exercise uh, no springs can be incredibly challenging so, so it'd be more of an advanced move uh, sometimes having more resistance is more challenging so it doesn't necessarily mean that the heavier resistance is more challenging. In some ways, the resistances can actually aid in our movement or aid in the exercise. Now, the uh, carriage sits within a wooden frame, and uh, at this end of the reformer, we have a foot bar that also adjusts to different heights. Um, you can do anything from leg press to uh, planking work where we can work on our uh, scapular stability and also our abdominals. Um, you can do tons of different things on here. The other great thing about this is that the hooks adjust. So depending on the height of the client, we can adjust the carriage and the foot bar to accommodate good alignment. You know, for instance, if I had a client that's 5'2", their setting on the reformer is gonna be a lot closer to the foot bar, whereas I have somebody who's 6'3", I'm gonna to want to set them a little further away from the foot bar so that they have good hip to knee to foot alignment. Now on this end, we have, and this might be the more intimidating thing you notice about the Pilates equipment, is straps and ropes. Um, nothing intimidating really, except, you know, it could be kind of hard to work with, but we can adjust the lengths of these straps and ropes here. Right now I have them for feet and straps, so we can put our feet in the straps while we are lying on the carriage and uh, do various mobility work, leg work, uh, while keeping good local pelvic stability. Um, we can also shorten them to a regular, what's called a regular strap length. And they're held in by little cleats here. And this uh, length is usually, usually used for uh, generally arm work or upper body work. Um, you can do various things laying down on the carriage, uh, closed kinetic chain type of exercises. Um, we also have a box here. You can lay on top of, make it a little bit more of an open kinetic chain exercise for added difficulty and st uh, stability challenge. We can also make them extra short and that's, you know, there's very specific exercises that we would use that for. Then the straps and ropes are attached to a pulley that um, allows us to move the carriage as we create tension on the strap. Um, what's great about this is you have tension while the muscle contracts and also lengthens. So we call that concentric and eccentric movement. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and show you a few exercises that can be done on the reformer. Why stay tuned and take a look at some of the things we can do.
So guys, that was pretty much a basic introduction to the reformer. Of course, there's a lot more to it, but um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like and share our video. Bye.